Every year, over 400 million air travelers encounter the issue of finding a place to relax at the airport. Slovenian company AirPod offers a solution. Capsules where you can check your smartphone, enjoy a quiet snack, or take a nap. After resting, the capsules can double as mini offices, equipped with transformable furniture, air conditioning, and free Wi-Fi. One of the prototypes showcased at a Dubai exhibition garnered significant attention, with creators confident they could have sold a thousand capsules easily. Testing of these capsules will take place in the airports of the United Kingdom, the United Arab Emirates, and Oman. British student Jasper Mallinson created a portable CNC machine resembling an exoskeleton for one arm. The machine, housing eight motors, was successfully tested with a welding torch. Like traditional CNC machines, a computer manages the tool's path and is conveniently placed on Mallinson's back. The goal is to make the machine compatible with various tools, enabling craftsmen to tackle complex tasks effortlessly. Additionally, Mallinson intends to incorporate virtual reality technology. Chinese railroads presently can reach a speed of about 350 kilometers per hour, setting a world record as reported by the press. Yet, Chinese experts aim for an even more impressive speed of 400 km per hour. Given the high demands on trains and tracks, these experts enlist the help of robots to conduct inspections. The robotic platform examines the rail curvature, identifies surface defects, measures gaps, assesses fastening conditions, and performs other essential tasks. Operating for four hours on a single battery, the platform maintains an inspection speed of 15 km per hour. The daily routine of paramedics, first responders, and various professionals involves transporting the sick and injured on stretchers. The Inex Ambulance Cot offers a solution to alleviate their back strain. These stretchers are electric and capable of supporting loads of up to 317 kilograms. The person on this stretcher remains in a proper lying position, and there are adjustable guides for intravenous lines and other devices. To expedite transportation, the stretcher can be adjusted at the push of a button. The integrated LCD display on the Inex Ambulance Cot provides all necessary information. The global advertising market is full of surprises showcasing both advanced technology and substantial investments. In 2023, its total volume reached around $842 billion. Notably, the Polish company Screen LED, known for its LED displays, has introduced a unique way to generate income. Box LED, a unit designed for displaying ads. Customers can opt for a car with box LED already installed or purchase the unit separately. It showcases advertising videos from a PC or laptop with automatic brightness adjustments. Plus, there's no need to worry about the weather as the displays are resistant to rain and winds of up to 20 meters per second. Rough estimates indicate that $25.2 million worth of cleaning robots were sold globally between 2015 and 2018. However, 
A common issue is that these robots struggle with stairs. Singapore tackled this challenge with S-Tetra, a robot designed to navigate stairs effortlessly in both directions. It's comprised of three blocks that house six motors, and the robot has excellent computer vision thanks to a combination of cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and LiDAR. S-Tetro has shown promising performance in tests, but it's uncertain whether it will enter mass production. You know jokes about robots taking over our jobs? In the US, clinics without doctors are already a reality. Patients can go there to get blood tests, biometric body scans, and screenings for diseases like diabetes. The plan is to broaden the range of services offered there in the future, with artificial intelligence algorithms handling diagnostics and providing recommendations. These clinics, known as care pods, are quite compact and can fit into shopping malls. Access to care pods is available through a subscription, priced at $99 per month. This unique trimaran that looks more like a spaceship goes by the name of SP-80. Its creators aim to break the world speed record for sailboats. If all goes according to plan, the SP-80 will reach a speed of 150 km per hour in 2024. The design and construction of this 7-meter vehicle took several years and involved cutting-edge technologies. For instance, the hull was woven from carbon fiber on a special machine and then sterilized in an autoclave at 120 degrees Celsius. Notably, the total project budget exceeded $1.6 million. China's automotive sector has achieved remarkable success as well, emerging as the world's largest automobile exporter based on 2023 results. Meanwhile, domestic market sales surpassed 21 million units. In this context, the product of local company Yi Feng is noteworthy. They've developed a platform that streamlines car parking. Employing laser navigation with an accuracy of plus or minus 5 millimeters, this platform can boost the capacity of a typical parking garage by up to 40%. Additionally, the advanced intelligent parking system can manage up to a thousand platforms simultaneously. The US-based company Anduril Industries revealed the Roadrunner Interceptor drone in early December. While not all of its features have been disclosed, one key detail is known. The Roadrunner is equipped with two turbojet engines, allowing it to reach speeds of around 1,120 km per hour. Anduril Industries asserts that this drone outperforms competitors by flying 10 times farther and maneuvering 3 times better. The Roadrunner is versatile, finding application in various scenarios. The Roadrunner M model is specifically designed to counter unmanned aerial vehicles, but it can also handle tasks like reconnaissance and tracking. Anduril Industries has secured its first customer, gearing up for mass production. German company Otto Bock aims to make professionals' lives easier with the help of its exoskeletons. One notable success is the Pexo Thumb, recognized as the world's smallest exoskeleton. Another intriguing offering is the Pexo Shoulder, which operates without electricity, relying on levers, springs, and cables. This exoskeleton facilitates working with arms raised and is suitable for a diverse range of individuals, from mechanics to construction workers. For 
already everyday exoskeletons available for the general public. One called Wim weighs only 1.4 kilograms. It not only helps a person conserve up to 20% of their energy while walking, but also reduces the effort needed to carry loads by 14%. Ideal for hiking or training, WIM comes with a training program that uses artificial intelligence algorithms to create a personalized plan. In Singapore, there's been another step made in advancing electronics. A team of scientists from Nanyang Technological University has developed a unique connection interface that can be installed in just 10 seconds. It's incredibly flexible, stretching seven times without issues. Moreover, this connection is 60 times stronger than when using glue and stays functional even underwater. This advancement makes it much easier to create flexible devices, which will prove useful to robotics experts in the future. It's common knowledge that the most effective prohibitory sign for many drivers is a concrete block in the middle of the road. For a more impactful option, consider the anti-assaltos stoppers. With stripes and spikes, they're both highly visible and durable. They take just 6 seconds to rise to a height of 60 centimeters and are made from 16 mm thick steel. These stoppers operate smoothly in temperatures ranging from 75 to minus 25 degrees Celsius. According to the manufacturer, this type of protection is well suited for airports, customs offices, embassies, and even prisons. you imagine a shoe with M&Ms stashed in the sole? Well, Chinese 3D illustrator and designer UV Zhu hasn't just imagined it, he's brought it to life. UV Zhu sees shoes as works of art and fearlessly combines classic elements with inflatable inserts, spikes and other unique features. Meanwhile, these shoes, aptly named WOW, are already available at stores. A pair of WOW comes with a price tag of $980. While it may seem pricey, where else can you find shoes designed for walking on water? WOW performs just as well in the pool as it does in the ocean. Invented in the USA, these shoes aren't limited to walking, they're also suitable for workouts. Our lineup concludes with the Italian company Flotex, renowned globally for its buoys, floating barriers, and similar products. Take the 3017 FTFD buoy, for instance. It boasts an impressive 3 meter diameter and comprises four floats, with walls exceeding 20 millimeters in thickness. There's ample space for solar panels and various signaling systems. Additionally, filled with closed-cell polyurethane foam, the buoy demonstrates increased resilience to adverse weather conditions.